Open as a Métis waits to see if Rahul Gandhi is going to contest from uh, the constituency. What is the message being sent to Vyanad? Now, the BJP has said that Rahul will run from Vyanad next, claiming indecision paralysis on a Métis. The Congress claims that uh, they have been committed to Vyanad and have proved so with Rahul's visits and work in the constituency. Well, so does this indecision and delay in a Métis have a larger national impact, especially in Vyanad, which has voted. How does this impact the perception of uh, Member of Parliament Rahul Gandhi is what we are going to discuss. Joining us on the show is Jasmine uh, Sandhavalia, BJP spokesperson. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, Congress spokesperson, also joins us on the show. Advocate uh, Chandni Preeti Shah, political analyst, will be joining us momentarily. And uh, Jimsa Ibrahim, political analyst, also with us on the program. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this conversation. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, I'll begin with you. Well, this, uh, you know, indecision, if we can call it that, or this mystery over Amethi and Rai Bareilly, uh, is beginning to have an impact. It's beginning to, in fact, to tell the opposition that perhaps Rahul Gandhi is uh, scared to contest again from Amethi. And if he does, and if he even, you know, ends up winning it, if he does, what's going to happen to Vyanath? There are a lot of questions, you know, which are doing the rounds as of now. And speculation is rife that, uh, you know, there is a problem when it comes to deciding who's going to be contesting from uh, Amethi and Rai Bareilly and what will become of Vyanad if Rahul Gandhi decides to go for Amethi. I totally agree, Mr. Gandhi's dilemma, if he wins both the seats and because Vyanad is something, I've, I've repeatedly said this, on the day of nomination of Vyanad, I was there and, you know, the... The whole frenzy, the whole excitement of people, the love, care, and it was all all through the Vyanad, it was Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi. And it's not just Vyanad uh, rooting for Rahul Gandhi, it's Rahul Gandhi also cheering for Vyanad. Likewise, when he completed his Bharat Jodo Yatra, he went not to Delhi at his home, he went to Vyanad first. And looking at his work, the flood rehabilitation amounting to some 4.21 crores, reaching up to 18,000 families be it raising night traffic ban of NS76 or going for the Kamenbri Health Centre or the Anganwadi Centre. Rahul Gandhi has done a lot for Vyanad in his uh, this parliamentary tenure. And, uh, you know, this dilemma is this dilemma is justified. And uh, in a few hours, uh, this history or this suspense, whatever media is calling it, uh, this would be clear off. And we'll see who is contesting from Amriti and Rai Bareilly and uh, um, uh, anyone, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest and I'll say that it's, it, it will be a big Congress leader who will be contest, contesting. And we are, we all are looking forward to the, along with the whole media uh, speculation that we have, we all are looking forward to the contest. And what, what's important here, Vineet, is we have to see while we, uh, while Amiti and Rai Bareilly are still uh, looking for their candidature, Bharti Janta Party just half an hour back released a candidature for Kasar Gaj. And I think Bharti Janda Party has stopped being pretentious. They should stop all the pretensions of uh, Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao. When they have fielded Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's son, they should have fielded Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh himself. He was right before yesterday, he was all there in the media saying, Amara Dabdaba Bawat hai, kisi ke okaat nahi hai, chune ki. And look at him. They don't even have the guts, they don't even have spine to change the, to uh, expel him from the party. The grave, serious. Uh, uh, accusations that are, that are him and they, they are just to pacify him, they have fielded their own son. I think this speaks volume of what they are doing and they can they can go ahead and make Prajwal Ravenna the Minister of Women and Child Development. I have, please don't interrupt me in our news. Let, if don't let her finish. That. Jasmine, let her finish. Let her finish. You know, they could go and they could go and announce uh, Mr. Prajwal Ravenna as Minister of Women and Child Development with his 296 videos, the uh, ordinary videos that are there in the public domain. So they, they are not even pretending to be uh, serious for women's security. And that scares me. Amethi and Rai Bareilly, with, within a few hours, Vinny, within three, four hours or within a half an hour, the candidature would be clear. But the candidature they have given for Kasar Gar should scare the hell out of the... Uh, of uh, the women of the country because if not father let son this is their bapoti let uh, the constituency is their bapoti if not father let son contest and they don't have the spine to take a strict disciplinary action against some grave injustice grave uh, accusations that's been leveled i think this should be questioned and this should be raised how can they dare 
feel someone from the Bridgebushan Sharan's uh, legacy with Bridgebushan Sharan Sharan's family that speaks volumes. Okay, so let Jasmine respond now. Let Jasmine respond now to what you have said. Jasmine ji, go ahead. Well, the very empathy, the Congress is uh, so nervous that it is taking the last day to mull over whether it is going to field Priyanka Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi or they're not even sure who is going to be fielded. Like she said that maybe one of the close family members or a friends could be fielded. Now what's happened is that it, for 48 years, Amethi has been represented by the Gandhis and the Gandhis to uh, have put the constituency to shame. Now just let me quote a few facts and tell my uh, uh, Congress spokesperson that there is not a single, single hospital for women in 2019, when Rahul Gandhi was routed by uh, Mrs. Simriti Irani, a 200 bed has been made for women in a Methi. There is a medical college now. There is a Senate school now. 150, one, uh, 1,14 homes have been built. 3,30 water connections have been given. 4 lakh toilets, individual toilets have been made in houses. 1.5 lakh electricity bills have been given and one of the most neglected constituencies in the entire India after independence was the so-called high-profile constituency represented by the Gandhis. It's a shame. Hmm. And when she talks about women, let me tell her this, that it is the BJP which has brought the 33% reservation the historic bill was passed on the first day on the, when, when the new parliament uh, building was inaugurated. And this bill was promised by Rajiv Gandhi and Mrs. Sonia Gandhi was the longest serving, longest serving party president and she didn't twiddle a finger for it. Hmm. Can I answer, Vindi? Okay, Can quickly, you quickly, okay. quickly, uh, Dr. Puja, then we go to uh, Jim sir. BJP panelist, my dear friend, that as of 2016, that uh, MAT had 43 PSC, 13 CSC, 271 sub centers. Also, as far as tertiary healthcare goes, it had Indira Gandhi. I was police lying. Tell you, I didn't interrupt on all your uh, factual misinformation. Indira Gandhi Eye Hospital and Research Center is conducting eye camps since 1989. There was Sanjay Gandhi Memorial Hospital. And this is what Amethi had. So don't, don't get, you know, there, there's been always been PR and propaganda. There's a lull and video. I would request you to go that there is a plastic waste management in the uh, village adopted by Ms. Mithi Rani in the Pradhan Mantri Adarsh Pram Yojana, which is called Jagdishpur. And the plastic waste management, uh, whatever it is called, it does not have electricity since 2019. Just a board has been hung and it's a scrapyard. So I'll request you to go to Amethi and visit these health centers. And as far as education is concerned, there were five institutes of higher education and excellence centers. As far as bail is concerned, as far as sale is concerned, as far as railway near plant is concerned. It was in 2014, it was 2019 that Hindustan paper mills that was giving employment to Amethi people was taken to Maharashtra uh, under the esteemed Honorable MP Smriti Rani. The Uchaha okay. railway line. Let's, let's, IIT, let's, let's get in Jimsa into this conversation as well. Jimsa. Well, if it's, it's, it's about progress, if it's, it's about uh, what the Congress has done, obviously there must have been problems. That's why in Amethi at least, the Smithy Rani was voted in. Oh yes, uh, thank you for having me, Vinny. Uh, I suppose I'm audible. Yeah. Yes. All right, uh, so to begin with, we have the whole uh, debate on where exactly Rahul Gandhi will contest from. Honestly, I think in an election that is highly charged. This, the credit goes to the Congress party for having, having the public debate on where exactly Rahul Gandhi is contesting from because of many reasons. Number one, Amethi has been a stronghold of the Congress party for the last uh, 16, 17 times. The same goes for Rai Bareilly as well. Now, there was a question asked on why Rahul Gandhi had chosen to contest from why not? There were innuendos uh, blaming the uh, demographics of the, of, uh, of the place, like saying, there was slander saying that since you have a large Muslim population, you have Rahul Gandhi running to that place to appease the minorities. Now, since I come from Kerala, 
and I know the hard truths of this place. Let me start by telling you that Wayanad is the constituency where you have the largest number of scheduled tribes in Kerala. That is one. Two, you have a significant number of minorities. And three, you have a large number of rural populace as well. Now, having seen what he has done on ground for the last five years, I'm sure that he, he can rest assured of a victory this time around. When it comes to Amethi, though, now since it's, it's largely emotive, like uh, Dr. Pooja had mentioned earlier, you have uh, a former union minister's son being fielded from Kaisergaj. I don't think BJP has the upper hand here to actually ask or field questions on why exactly Rahul Gandhi is, is standing from Amethi. They, they do not have the moral high ground to ask those questions. One, you have the son of somebody who has been accused of sexual abuse standing from the seat. Two, Rahul Gandhi has never been accused of any such slander in his political life. He has only been accused of not serving to the BJP's interest. So I would say the whole debate of uh, Rahul Gandhi contesting from Amethi or Rai Bareli is actually playing into the hands of the Congress's playbook. They have the upper hand here. Hmm. Chandni, welcome to the show. What do you make of uh, you know this mystery over uh, Amethi and Rai Bareli? And uh, the BJP has targeted Rahul Gandhi that uh, you know even if he does contest and wins in Amethi, which he's likely not to and may not even win, that's what the BJP says, the uh, Vayanad is going to be exposed uh, in a number of ways, which is not going to be good for the Congress party and Rahul's image. Um, you know, Vineet, uh, see, I, I mean, they have not announced whether, you know, Rahul Gandhi is going to uh, contest from Amethi uh, yet, even if he does, uh, hypothetically, let's say. Um, if, hypothetically, he contests from Amethi and wins from Amethi, which is not going to happen, and he also wins from Vayanad, which is apparently going to happen. All right, because it's ideologically, uh, Vayanad is, uh, you know, more preferential to Rahul Gandhi. But in that case, uh, you know, according to the rules, you have to, uh, you know, leave one of the constituency. In that case, which constituency it would be? Because I, I for sure think, think that it would be Amethi and he would keep Vayanad. Reason being in 2021, uh, there was a rally in Vayanad wherein Rahul Gandhi said that, you know, uh, I find the people of Vayanad more samajdar, uh, more wafadar. These are the kinds of, uh, you know, words he used that I have contested in Amethi and yet I have, uh, you know, I've come over here because you people, I like you people more. So in that way, he's already abandoned uh, Amethi, you know, in 2020 itself, in 2021 itself. And uh, by not contesting the last elections also from there, I mean, uh, you know, this is very clear that uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, is very much afraid of contesting from Amethi and uh, even if he does, which he might not uh, contest from Amethi. I, I do not think there is any uh, playbook in the, you know, in the game of politics which would say that Rahul Gandhi would win from Amethi. It's only Vayanad that he could win from. Hmm. All right. Chandni, that's a good point you've made. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, we've run out of time. It's a short show today. Would you like to quickly respond to that? I think uh, I would like uh, Ms. Chandni to give us a proof of when he said ki more wafadar, more samajdar than Amit. Yeah, it's there. I don't think it's there. You can Google ever. it, ma'am. You can Google it, ma'am. Like it's you. there. It's there. I'll send you. I'll yeah, WhatsApp you. I'll WhatsApp you. He has never said that. Don't sit on a national television and uh, I'll WhatsApp you. I'll WhatsApp you. He has more wafadar. How can a politician who's represented a constituency three times say more wafadar, more samajdar than you? He said Vayanad is his family. He has said Amit is his family. Okay. Don't, don't put misinformation right. on the national TV, sitting in a national debate. I'll WhatsApp I you. think Gandhi deserves all okay, the respect and right. And don't just play play to the books of BJP and say he more wafadar, more samajdar. This should be criticized and you should take your words back. Okay, all right. We've uh, run out of time. We, we, in fact, cannot accommodate any more words. It's a short curtail show. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.